injured here. 33, Estil Province, Blue Team. Diomedes, as a Tech Marine starts off range combat, puts us a good damage, can also support with structures and repair Wade into melee combat too, alongside Freeman, as a high of talent, very durable commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful combatant with some good support and disruption begins with a basic synapse alongside rather off the blue team it's from ethanol with love as a war boss a melee commander can walk through objects perpetually angry with some strong offense disruption and supports from the front lines this is the free booters dlc from relic red team we have sir gachamuk as another war boss over on the opposite side of the map alongside stanley love as a plague champion starts off range combat damage over time bolter can get melee weapons and decent utility and support can build turrets and repair but is very slow there's some nurgly worship as he shoots up some termigrants he's gonna take the wreck point there we go and alongside man on mars who seemed to start the game very late here playing a warlock a melee commander can leap into combat with some powerful spell casting with support and disruption and offense and all that good stuff hounding banshees on the field he's finally got going not gonna be able to take this natural wreck point though. Ethanol with double sluggers up. Against the Warlock you'd expect some looters but we'll see. Stanley Love having to back away is getting double CSM though. Help him shoot down these big annoying aggressive heroes. There's the Warlock leaping into those sluggers. Banshees in amongst as well. These sluggers in big trouble. And they go down I think. Yes they do. Sluggers lost in first engagement. Just a, way too reckless there. And Warlock stays in play with a good special attack on the remaining sluggers. Are they going to get away? Yes, they do. Now the shooter's being tied up. Good play by Man on Mars. Deciding on deciding what to do with his Warlock there. Base turrets coming into play now. Homogos needs to retreat. Both of these red, uh, blue, sorry, side heroes are still up here, though. Spore Mine's backing off. The war boss is not backing away though he's gonna be persuaded to leave with double CSM yeah he'll be okay though could support all that with his mucus discharge breath of Nurgle heal Stanley love is getting some havocs as well termigants backing away and here's a power bash from double shooter boys big shooters on one squad increased range and DPS the other squad is getting some also down goes one generator pretty quickly there, now working on the node, which is tougher. And a Mars, no shuriken. What's he up to? Oh, he got channeling runes, that's right. Wondered where his power went. Also has aspect of strength on his howling banshees. CSM capping the mid. Eldar are gonna have a poke over on the west side. It looks like Freeman coming over to support. Might get some capillary towers up later to facilitate those supportive drifts over to the west side there's that channeling on the banshees maybe a bit wasted there on retreating hormigaunts now we need to try and approach this but there's looters to suppress they're going to be forced to retreat here the banshees double looters for ethanol not something you see very often can get one on the west one in this kind of central western area Although he might want to keep one over to defend his power east side. Down goes that war boss. Got way too close to some looters. Might not have been able to see them behind that wall there until it was too late. Oh! Black grenades. Good throw from Stanley Love. Infected a whole bunch of stuff there. It's always a little bit of a risk getting the black grenades or indeed the purification vials because you don't know if it's going to be cost efficient because it relies on how able you are to get those good throws in to get close enough to do them well that was a good throw a good start those shooter boys needed needed to take, take that approach a lot wider i think rangers on the field from animars can set up banshee rushes with their kinetic pulse and stuff battle of the setup teams havoc's winning it so far and here's double csm to shoot up those looters they're gonna need to retreat he's getting close for another throw isn't he yes he is Another good one. A really good one. Going to infect the high of town and maybe even these looters here. Yep, they got close enough. There we go. What's this? Power bashing are some Dire Avengers, the blue VP. Relatively quiet here. Storm boys on the field for Gatamuk. Good choice against the doubles. 
double tax and devastators of Diomedes over on that west side. Kicking off over on the east though. High of Taran in amongst some Banshees and he has the Rending Talons. There's that Seismic Roar. So satisfying to use and kill stuff with that. Which speaks to a lot of Dawn of War 2 stuff. It's always so satisfying to just kill stuff in it. Which is not always the case in an RTS. The way stuff explodes and flies around and turns into bits. Warboss chasing down this Warlock who's getting way too close. Need to retreat fella. There you go. Rangers continue to get shots in. Here comes the Plague Champion. Could throw his Black Grenade. He's going to revive first though. Which is going to level him maybe. Where's his level? Yep, yeah, going to level him to three. There we go. Now he throws it out. Another good throw facilitated that foot retreat there. Although they might have retreated in a way of everything coming in. Got some default heretic still for Stanley Love. Tier 2 for Freeman, the first to go. Just double termigants. He had some spore mines, and that's about it. Has upgraded all of his squads and has kitted out his uh, hive tyrant a bit, though. Red team will all take the west side for now. Tier 2 for Diomedes. Might see a plasma cannon. So he can put it into that garrison there and still cover the VP, I think. Looters from ethanol are kind of milling around this western side aren't they to help out somewhat heretics in amongst hormigons but they got absolutely obliterated by the hormigons and double term good fire there's another seismic roar uh oh he's onto the havoc here he's gonna kill them in about three hits i think yep that's because they were on retreat and this thing is not messing around 75 dps melee and heavy armor does not get any benefit against regular melee attacks. You need super heavy armor or commander armor for that. Or just be a vehicle. Burners on the sluggers. Banshee's chasing through, but shooters here to stop this. Uh-oh. There's a brood nest. Nothing really around though, so he could go for it. There's that channeling. Used it a bit too early, I think. Wait for them to take a little bit of damage. And he is going to try and get this brood nest down, and I think he will be able to also. Warboss trying to have words. This could be a dicey retreat. When it's down, there it goes. Uh oh. Knocked over. There's distort field on them from the global bar of the warlock. But some really strange bar thing. Down go two models. How did this model go down? What the hell killed her? But uh, looks like they're going to get away. That was weird. Might have just been a shot from something. Devastator is trying to set up, but they're going to get jumped by the Storm Boys, I think. There we go. And he's in Tier 2. And the Knob Leader is on the way. And this guy is scary. Uh-oh. Might take out these Devastators right here. Storm Boys are pretty terrible at chasing on their feet. This guy might actually get away here. Because their ranged weapons are pitiful. And they're not that quick. And they kind of jump around strangely. Oh. Strange path thing around that thing, that tank trap, but they are fine. Well, not fine, but they're going to live with six hit points. Got a retreat now, Storm Boys. Hormagaunt struggling to negotiate this wall, and they just jump through it. Of course they do. Rangers. Oh, drop a model in two hits from the Hive Tyrant there. Here comes Stanley Love, Plague Fist, and a Chaos Dreadnought in play. Hive Tyrant uses his charge to get away there and needs to retreat. There we go. He's got a Zone Throat, which usually means he's going to get two Zone Throats. Although hasn't so far. It's a Venom Brood on the way to deal, help deal with this um, Chaos Dreadnought here. Dreadnought on the way for Diomedes. Oh, he cancels the Venom Brood and gets another Zone Throat. Is he going to get Crushing Claws or something? We shall see. It's an expensive piece of gear, Crushing Claw. Weird boy in play here for Gachamook. There's a Zap. Might jump to the War Boss. Nope. Yes, it does. Jump to the War Boss. Now it's going to jump to the Storm Boys. And they jump in. There's that stun on landing. And they absolutely own... The Devastators, down they go. Didn't take long, did it? And now the Zap jumps to the Scouts. 
And now it dissipates. Finally! What's going on over here? The thing in the power. The two blue heroes hit. Banshee Exarch is in play with her spear. And here comes Danny Love setting up with Havocs. Can they get in amongst those Havocs? There's this charge. Nope. Looked like he tried to charge there. Maybe it bugged out. Oh, another nice Blight Grenade from the Plague Champion. Gonna infect the Zone Throat. That's not good for the Zone Throat. Puts his shield up just in time to block that Plague Fist hit. And he's okay, the Zone Throat there. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Red Team keeping the pressure up. As you notice, the health regen synapse does not apply to non tyrannid creatures. Since it's a synapse and all, Tyrannids like to play together. Stick Bombers on the field for Ethanol. With their stun bombs into some Stick Bombs there. Oh, Tech Marines down over on the west side. I guess Storm Boys had something to do with it. What is this though? Melee Dreadnought. Gonna get chopped up by the Storm Boys. This could be really dicey. Not going after it yet. It's still a very tough fight for the Storm Boys. That is a melee dreadnought after all. Here comes some tank buses though. And if that guy is stuck fighting in melee combat, they could get that tank buster barrage off. Look at the damage from each volley. There's the barrage. Holy crap. Are they going to be able to chase this thing? There's another volley. Down to 100 hit points or so, but it will live for now. There's a lot of repairs needed on that guy. What just snared this? I'm not sure. It might have been the Zonthrope's Focus Warp Blast, which does not snare vehicles. But I think maybe it still has the visual for it. The debuff visual. Banshees are going to get wrecked by the Sluggers. They have used the choppers and obliterated them. Channeling doesn't even save you from that. Oh, Zone Threat's getting shots on that little blob of um, CSM. That was bad for Mr. Stanley Love. Good little passage of play there for the blue team. Can they push through here? The Warboss is certainly trying to. No sign of the power pull yet. Which I was fully expecting to see against that ranged Dreadnought. But he's got a beamy death gun. Yes, he does. And there's two zone throats, so they can deal with that dreadnought, that's for sure. Weird boy, warp vomit on a bunch of tactical marines and the tech marine himself there. Dreadnought is getting repairs. He's almost up there too. Red team have this west side. These guys hiding be behind this um, shot blocker. It's a whirlwind on the way for Diomedes. No plasma cannons whatsoever over here. Man on Mars looking very thin, but does have some seer council now. That he can use that channeling on, of course. Storm Boys jumping in. Not looking too good for this Dreadnought. Tank Bus is not moving forward, though. That was strange. Does he have a boss pole? Oh, it's a trophy rack. That's right. I was wondering where that debuff was coming from. It's a trophy rack. It's pretty damn useful. Whirlwind, you're going to die if you don't move. But that's Tank Bus is on your rear armor. And the weird boy there to hit your rear armor also is not paying attention to his whirlwind at all. And there's the tank buster barrage. It's going to go down. Yeah, it didn't last very long. Someone coming in. Yes, Freeman coming in to flank the orcs. Weird boy lives though, I think. Retreated just in time. Everything else is fine. Yes. Capillary tower over here. Just trying to block those orcs in, I think. 435. 301. Blue team with 130 odd VPs lead. Uh oh. It's the angry space elf build, which made of Kernus, Providence, and the Warp Throat. Can do so much work with this. Look at that. Levels up to three. Another one. And runs away. Heretics live. They do have an aspiring champion now. They need one, I think, but they just die in seconds and stuff. In this heavy tier 2 from a lot of players. Broodness is up. First kind of effect of the game for Freeman. I'm guessing we'll see one more. I'm guessing this one is going to be a Barb Strangler too. 
double barb strangler con effects is, is always pretty good. Webway over here. Still this one over here too. Not sure if it's been used. Might see one over in this corner too. Setting up on the west side are the blue team. Hive Tyrant forward for some vision behind the shot blocker there. Double zone throws lying in wait. Soon to be joined by a Carnifex. Uses a charge to get away there. Nicely done. Are you going to get a ranged weapon, Mr. Dreadnought? An assault cannon will do pretty good over here, but I think he maybe is saving that melee prowess for the Storm Boys and possible future Nob Squad, which we are seeing from Gachamuk. And a great unclean one on the way for Stanley Love. Fire Prism also. Fun Man of Mars really cooking over here on its west side now. Looted tank from Ethanol, which he might bring over. Here's a Dreadnought. Big fight going on. There's a Noxious Cloud. And there it is. It is a Barb Strangler Carn effect coming over. Zone Throat's doing so much work. The Storm Boys really need to try and get on those uh, Zone Throats, I think. Much easier said than done. Heretics wiped out. A sloppy little push here from Stanley Love. Very sloppy. But um, survives with most of his stuff. Just lost Heretics, I think. Yeah, only lost his Heretics. Wasn't so bad. In fact, keeps his Dreadnought in play and is getting a Laz Cannon on his Havocs. Land Red Redeemer on the way for Diomedes. Nob Squad in play now. Getting Mina and Greener immediately to give them Frenzy, which is pretty damn powerful and will help them approach that west side. Looted tank here from Ethanol. And Seer Council tanking it pretty good because they've got Distort Field up and their own passive range resistance buff, which does affect them as well. But they are going to leave. Smack. And he gets a model there, the war boss. This guy's level 2. No weapon upgrade. How often do you see a war boss in tier 3 with no weapon upgrade? Making it work so far. Broodnest still hanging out in the middle. Red team getting ready for another push on the west side. That's a Marco Z shred not now. And a last cannon. So they've got some powerful AV, that's for sure. Look at this turret going up. Might not last long, but it should do some good work while it's up. Unless the unless the tank busters take it down immediately. Suppressing the Storm Boys. Storm Boys jumping in. War Boss is closely behind. Is he going to run away? I think he's still in play. Barb Stranger doing so much work, and there's a rocks. Down goes the Storm Boys, though. The, the, the turret actually doing some good stuff there. Carn effects, I think, is going to be okay. Yes. Really good push, though, by the red team. The Storm Boys were lost, but they are going to retake the west side. Freeman calling out that it's all three players over here. Because here we see Man on Mars' Eldar. Does have a webway gate now closer to this action. Land Red Redeemer with its... Suppressing flamers now. I was taking less cannon hits. Tank. You don't want to fight a Laz Cannon and a Marco Zinch Dreadnought, Mr. Tank. Gonna lose it. Down he goes. Guess he was watching something else. Stick bombers have found a webway gate. That will give them tons of XP if they can take it down. Let's see how much it gives them. How much? Does it level them up to two? But they did all of the damage to the webway. Oh, they didn't finish it. Dang it. Seer Council knocking them flying with their leap. That leap does damage as well, I believe, when they jump on you. Another leap there from the Warlock himself. And he's looking pretty scary with his loadout. He's level 4. Look at those Seer Council just ripping through stuff. Holy crap. These guys get I think it's like 3700 hit points maybe 3800 when they get to level 4 pretty damn scary with some warlock alongside need to run away from that though that's a lot of stuff all of a sudden rippers on the field for Freeman west side looks pretty quiet now it's all red there's a fire prism double fire prisms for man on Mars one over on his west side and one towards the east mid 
type area. What is that? Oh, Warp Throat. And there's Providence. Ethereal Slash. Leap. What else is he going to do? Another Warp Throat into another Ethereal Slash. But he's going to go down for his trouble, I think. Yes, he does. Stayed in play a little bit too long. Oh, look. Straight up devoured by the Hive Town over there. Great and clean one in play. Passive damage every few seconds from this guy to anything that's close to him. And some powerful abilities and a pretty solid basic attack too. Doesn't have splash damage on it anymore, but a big chunk of damage for a single target. Can try and tie up those um, can't affect his. Looks like we see a Venom Cannon, not double Barb Stranglers. Can help pressure the Great and Clean one and that um, Dreadnought. This looks like it might be a big engagement here. Dreadnought charging forward. Is he going after? Oh, he's going for the Chaos Dreadnought, I think, which is going to go down here. Yep, stayed in play way too long. Was trying to put some pressure on the land radar, make it back off, I think, but didn't quite work out. Here comes the Hive Tyrant from the background. Double zone throws close alongside. Red team needs to pull the hell out of it. Slug is in amongst some chaos stuff. This is really bad engagement now for Stanley Love. Lost those guys. I think those were Havocs, were they? I think so. The Heretics did get away, barely. That's the cloud of flies, I think it's called, from the Great Unclean One, where he infects a bunch of stuff around him with a big stomp. Fire Prism doing some work against these little Hormagons, but they do live. See a council on capping duty. Still level 1, but not for too long. Red team still have this west side. Here come the blue team, though, with a Land Raider Edema. We know how powerful this thing is in team games. Can completely change the game when it comes on the field and they're already looking pretty strong with Freeman and Ethanol's armies. Ethanol has some commandos with their rocket launcher and they're being sneaky. Oh, he's going to flank around to that fire prism, I think. Got some vision there from, a, from those allied scouts. And this fire prism won't last long with that rocket launcher on rear armor especially if there's any kind of push from the other side here comes Freeman alongside Diomedes here we go how long does the fire prism live not very long down it goes big engagement here knobs on the carnifex to try and tie them up prevent them from firing those very powerful ranged weapons that they carry but they need to push against a hell of a lot of stuff including suppressing heavy flamers from the Land Raider there. Stanley Love arriving at just a little bit too late to help defend against the push. But he does have some Chaos Terminators up. Most likely going to get a Auto Cannon on those guys, I think. And some Loyalist Terminators here with an Assault Cannon. Going to retake that Western VP and set up. And they're going to be very difficult to push against now. Very difficult. Double Zone Throats, Double Carn Effects, Terminators, Dreadnought, Land Raider. Not to mention all the other infantry models around. What's this? Warlock pushing through the mid. Nicely done. And he's going to decap it at least. Level 6 Warlock. City Council now. Wow. Almost level 3 all of a sudden. Look at that. So much disruption. Charging through is the war boss. He's most likely not going to stick around and fight though, is he? Maybe he is. Oh, big stomp. Boom. Big knockback and stun there from the cyborg implants. 230 to 200. Blue team sitting pretty right now on the west side. But here comes the reds. Really good tank buster barrage on that Carnifex. Was slowed down by something there. Weird boy firing his basic shots. Land ready getting really close. It's risky from Diomedes. Look at this, Hive Tyrant now has the Crushing Claw and the Bonded Exoskeleton, giving him that invulnerability. Also has the Warp Field too, so he's super tough right now. One to one cap, big push by the red team. Double Fire Prisms, that is a risky place to have them though, so something comes in from the side there. 
Really good push. It's a knob squad that are trying to cap Whirlwind, trying to get shots in and disrupt it, but they do get a decap there. The great and clean one leading the line, tying up the Tech Marine. That was the Nurgly vomit thing. Oh! Down goes the Hive, uh, the Carnifex, I should say. Massive engagement here. What is Terminator trying to achieve? There we go, teleport out. Really good push from the red team. They retake the west side. Now, whenever you lose a big engagement over a contested VP, it's usually a good idea to push the natural afterwards. We'll see what the blue team do though. Right now they're just kind of recovering and getting themselves together. We do have a commando squad here still from Ethanol. He's getting a battle wagon on the way. Triple fire prisms from Man of Mars. And he's already lost one too. Looks like the war boss died capping this VP. He has a power claw. Bunch of Tyranids coming up from their natural VP. And the red team are setting up on this west side here. That Nurgle shrine a little bit too close maybe. Where's the other fire prism? There it is. Well, none of the players are really behind here. So we could see a pretty thrilling finish until I imagine one of the players is going to have a really bad engagement. And then the others will be able to push through. Have Tarrant chasing down those Seer Council. Quick attacking weapon, good for those sustained melee fights. Seer Council getting absolutely owned here. Barb Strangler getting shots in. And birthing out some Spore Mines as well. Can you get a model here, Mr. Hive Tarrant? Guess not. Level 5. Blue team really are putting their eggs in the central basket here and trying to get that VP. Gonna get a decap, I think, at least. Warlock with his spinning Eldar shenanigans. What's he doing now? Walk throw. Is he going after the zone throw? There we go. Why don't you go after him sooner? Am I taking him out? But I guess not. Av Tarrant gets a decap and makes the Plague Champion run away too. There's a battle wagon to support and here we see the Terminators. This Hive Tyrant is just going ballistic here. Taking on armies. Such a tanky build with the Bonded Exoskeleton and the Warp Field. Here's the war boss now capping. Sir so Council coming back out of their base, but he might need to take one of his fire prisms back over to the middle to defend this, because this is not easy. Hive Tyrant is eventually retreated off. Level 7 Plague Champion has the Armor of Pestilence. So he's pretty damn tough too. They capped it. 185 to 185. 2 to 1 cap for the blue team. Kicking off though. On the west side going off this land raider. Oh, the red team. Can they finish it off? Tank busters getting shots in. The knobs not able to get close, I think. With the suppressing flamers, we will see. Great and clean one is chasing. Can't seem to get an attack off though. Land Raider stopped for a second and down it goes. Should not have stopped. Here come double Carnifexes to the help. Too late to save the Land Raider, but a good push through by the red team. Their objective was to take down the Land Raider and they did it. What's going on over here though? Warlock is very angry, trying to chase off a battle wagon and did so. Two units inside, you can tell by those light bars on the left side of it there. What is the DPS on this thing again? 72, I think, yeah. It's not fantastic at taking out vehicles, especially because this guy's so slow, but you can threaten them at least, at the very least. <coughs> the shrine is still standing. 179 to 160. Blue team with a counter push. There's a whirlwind too. Uh oh. Thorn back kind effects on the fire prism. Down it goes. This one needs to get moving. So difficult to keep track of everything for these players, especially Man on Mars with his his units split between two sides here. But a blue team are gonna retake. 
this contested VP thanks to some tactical marines who cap faster than normal because they studied the Codex of Studies, that's why. What's going to push back now? Grand came on getting some healing back at the Orky base there. Where are his Terminators? Looks like they are making their way over to the west side. Red team still pressure on their VP here. Thanks to a knob squad. And it's taken two players to really deal with it. Heretic's getting away. Plague Fist, maybe kill one of these guys. Maybe on retreat, smack. Nope, not quite. Kicking off west side now. <coughs> Power of Tyrant chasing down a weird boy. Special attack misses. But now we see the Crushing Claw tearing through this weird boy. He's going to lose it if he's not careful. This guy's level 2 with Warpath. Gets away. I think maybe. No, one more hit from the Hive Tyrant took him down. And that leveled him as well to 6. Having a really good late game, this Hive Tyrant. So difficult to deal with. And he's so tanky like that. Not like you can suppress him. There's some cloud of flies for the Rippers. Takes them down. That's an auto cannon havoc squad, I think. No, that's the last cannon. Nurgle vomits. Did nothing. Did not knock over the Terminators. There we go. That was weird. Oh, I think that first one was just a special attack. And the second one was the actual vomit. The actual vomit ability. Some Orcs bashing gens. Red team finally have control of their VP here. Third kind effects on the way for Freeman. It's fourth overall I think. I seem to remember him losing one over on the west side. Red team retaking the west. Gonna get a 2 to 1. 173, 1 to 1. There we go. Lots of power floating on all players pretty much. Do have some knobs here from Ethanol still. Fully kitted out with their knob leader and their U jammers. And this warlock is not a good fight for you, mate. Oh, there we go. Providence. Ethereal Slash needs to be careful, though. Needs to not overstay his welcome. See, a council are getting the cap. There we go. Now he should just retreat out, I think. There's a tripled alpha red team. 139, 121. He's staying in play. Now that he has his seer council to help, that's user choppers, though, on the knobs. Which makes them so freaking scary. Especially in a straight up melee fight with their massive bonus to melee skill. With that buff. Uh oh. Blue team pushing the west side. Going to be a big fight I think. Trying to formation. Another land raider redeemer too. The terminator is teleported out. Didn't do a whole lot. Oh that one's a good hit. But it's kicking off big time. Let's just watch the glory. That Khan effect's not getting involved. Now we see it. That's a noxious cloud too. Can you cap? Where are the tactical marines at? Were they killed? Or did they just get back into the land right there? They might be inside it. Level 3 tactical marines there. Look at this hive time. Oh, look, a pain boy. I don't get to see this guy in action very often. Pretty cool little sub commander for orcs with some heals and buffs and can make you explode also because that's useful. Blue team are retaking. No go vomit though. Knocks over the. T oh, the terminators weren't knocked far enough to stop their cap though. But they choose to stop it. That was weird. Oh, there we go. Now they're capping again. Going to take a lot of damage. There's a last cannon shooting at them too, I think. But they're going to get the cap. There we go. And they can get the hell back to the Land Raider, I think. Nope. They're going to fight. What are they up to? Get back, fellas. Did they teleport out? They must have. Where the hell did they teleport to? All the way back here. Oh. It was the Librarian with Gates of Infinity. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Psychic hood giving him that. 
teleporting him out of trouble. Level 8 played champion. Red team retaking the natural again. Pretty frantic stuff. 76 76. We've seen fighting all over. Big fights over the contested and pushes from both players on the natural. Or both teams, I should say. Ethanol getting a weird boy up. He's great in big engagements with that warp vomit. That's a war truck to give some reinforcement support here. That noble shrine obviously went down. Here comes the warlock to harass this VP again. He's level 8, this guy. So your council are almost level 4, too. Very close to it. Where's your knob squad, Mr. Ethanol? Back of base hitting up. It's a lot of stuff, though. 76 to 52. Is he going to get a 2 to 1 hit? No, not quite. Need to retake it as soon as you can, Mr. Warboss, to get that 2 to 1 back on and ticking him down. What vomit? Should end the engagement right there. Kicking off on the west side, though. Big fight. Another Toronto formation. Awesome stuff. It's D-Cat. Zone Thrones continue to get their shots in. Warboss going over the going after the uh, land raid as you can see there. And Fire Prism getting a shot in. Eldritch, first one that I've seen. Stuns the Carnifex and it should be able to finish it off here. And down goes the land raider, I think. Holy crap. Just disappeared. Take my eyes out for, for a second and it's gone. Great and clean one's pretty low. He's done so well, this big guy, too. 51, 52 on the VPs. Do not get much closer. Freeman letting Ethanol know that uh, there's three players over. And he's saying GG. Does he think it's over? I think he does. There's a 2-1 to for red. And I guess they don't feel like they can push against this. I think they can. We'll see how it goes. I guess the land raider going down is a big blow. Both the VPs' naturals are pretty quiet right now. Although I see a bunch of orcs coming towards this VP. Not going to be quiet for long. There is a fire prism to try and deal with the knobs. There is a seer council for DPS. That's a good charge. A good opening for ethanol. And a big stomp too. Bad news for that seer council. Really bad news. Really good little push here from Ethanol. It's going to be the commandos capping those guys cap faster, but this fire prism with its insane range. I don't think they can get it out of there. Weird boy's trying with his basic attack. He's doing some damage. Nob Squad have found some CSM, and Stanley Love, obviously paying attention to the west side, might lose those guys. Commandos go back to capping. Blue team might actually get this VP. How long for though? Uh oh. Warp throw. I thought that was an Eldritch. Guess that would have been too quick since the last one. What's this now? Blue team pushing on the west side. They're capping too. Holy crap. Let's watch this unfold here. Down goes that Carnifex. The great clean one is still around. Double cap for the blue team as it stands. Going to get a triple. Really good push through by the Tyranids. That's a rock though. Carnifex should be fine. Uh oh, but it could not get the cap. And how long are they going to be able to hold on to that natural? Great unclean one lives somehow. Surely they're going to take him out here. Hive Tyrant is on him. And down he goes. And blue team are capping. And they're going to win this game with a double cap. 23 VPs remaining. Just as I think Freeman thought it was over as well. But um, Ethanol with this push won it for the blue team. Because he got that VP. And they gave them the double. Danny Love lost a lot of stuff at the end there. In that big engagement on the west side. Let's look at the heroes. End of the game. Dionides level 7. Tech Marine. He's down. Level 8, Hive Tyrant, very close to level 9 with the incredibly tough...
Bonded Exoskeleton and Warp Field and that Crushing Claw too. Warboss level 8, Power Claw, Cyborg, Angry Bits, another Warboss here. Power Claw, Evie Armor and Trophy Rack. Level 10 Plague Champion was down at the end trying to defend his VP, looks like. And a level 10 Warlock dude did a lot too, I said. Did a lot of good work. Going after that VP did a lot of good work there. Did these guys get level 4? They must have. Yes, 38 and 3802 hit points. Pretty freaking awesome. How many fire prisms did he have? But there we go, guys. Pretty damn close. 23 VPs remaining. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.